Welcome back you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all doing good. Right, today I get asked this question a lot. I recently put up a video using the Brighton 750 and a lot of people have sent me messages and asked me questions both on YouTube and on Instagram saying, do you really need to use a cycle computer? Why can't you just use your phone? And the honest answer is, yeah, totally. You can 100% use your phone to do rides, etc., and all that stuff. A cycle computer is just more specific. It's designed solely for the purpose of recording rides, tracking data, taking your power meter readings, your heart rate data, all your sensors can attach to the device and it's just a bit more refined. But that said, if you're just going out for a ride and you just want to Strava your ride, there's no reason you can't just use your phone. So when I'm going out for a short ride, I, I don't use my cycle computer. I just put my phone in my pocket, I record the ride on Strava and, and that's it. But all that said, the really good thing about a cycle computer is that when you have a cycle computer, it's just mounted out front and you can see it the entire time. And with a phone, a phone is in your pocket. A lot of you guys would have heard of this brand. They are the original brand for like out front mounts and locking mounts for phones. And that's Quadlock. So massive thanks to Quadlock for sending over some of their product for me to try out. For those of you that don't know who Quadlock are, what they make, basically what they do is you get this case. Can you see that? So you put your phone in the case and then they have this lockable mount that you can either attach. Let me show you. Let me show you, it's a bit easier. You can attach it here to your stem or you get this out front mount. So you can get a couple of different mounts for it. Well, actually you can get loads of mounts for it. You can get them for cars, for motorbikes, for, for your wall, for anything at all. And if you want a posher version, you get the pro mount, which is really good. Let me show you. You've got this button here to release your phone, but essentially it's just like a normal out front mount, like a normal cycle computer. You've got a GoPro attachment on the bottom. And then when you want to put your phone in, you literally just pop it in, turn it, locked in. So that's like super solid. It's in there. And if you want to release it, you just push the button down. I'm going to try and do this with one hand. So you basically, you can just turn it all the way around and you can have your device set up that way. So what I do is I put it on my rollers and I can just have Zwift here, as you can see. So that means I can do my workout and I can see the screen really well. And for those of you that sweat and drip and everything and you don't want to ruin your phone, you get like the poncho, the pon I think it's called a poncho, the poncho cover. And basically that just goes on and it keeps everything all sealed. So it should keep all of the grit and grime and stuff from the road off your phone as well. And it's even got like a camera cover, which is really nice. But anyway, it's a pretty cool product, right? It's good for riding inside. You can use it on your rollers. You could watch something. I'm honestly going to use this a lot inside. But what I'm interested in is how does a phone work outside and how does it perform outside? Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out into this freezing cold, snowy, absolutely awful conditions with a brand new phone on my quad lock and we're gonna test out the quad lock and also let's find out how different it is using a phone and a cycle computer. I guess I better go get ready, put on everything that I own because it's freezing. So let's go and see if a phone works as a cycle computer. It's massive, isn't it? <laughs> I'm getting a bit older at 40, so now I can see the numbers really clearly. <laughs> oh my God, it's so cold. Like, I'm not actually sure how cold it is. It's just really cold. Woo. So with Strava, you can actually have it permanently on and your phone won't sleep, but I find that drains your battery too much. So I'm just gonna let it go to sleep. And if I wanna look at it, I'll look at it. It's just out for a ride today. It's not like I'm doing a training session. And I kind of figure that's when you're gonna be using like the quad lock. If you've got a phone, you don't wanna buy a cycle computer, it's perfect, you know? I find it really handy, you know, especially on the turbo. It's really nice, or for more casual rides. I mean, the most important thing for me was, is it gonna hold my phone really secure? Because, like, let's be honest, phones are expensive. And the last thing you want <laughs> is your phone falling off. I can honestly tell you, your phone is no way falling out of a quad lock. Right, I better descend down there a bit slowly because it's a bit icy today. <laughs> So let me know down below, like how many of you guys use cycle computers and how many use your phone? Like I'm interested to know. What do you use? Have you used a quad lock before? 
Ooh. Oh, blooming freezing. I'm literally wearing everything I own, I think. There are certain things that my phone won't do that a self computer will do. Like if you're riding with power, if you want to do a training session, if you want to be like lapping stuff, you know, and doing like intervals and, and all that sort of stuff. You, basically, if you want to train, you just need a sock computer. I mean, that's my view. You don't have to go and buy one. You can buy any brand you want. I mean, essentially, they all do the same thing. They just measure your data. But I think you need one. You can't use a phone as a sock computer. You can use your phone to like log your rides and track your rides and for route navigation. But you can't go on an eight hour ride with a phone. The battery probably won't last, right? I'm not going to race a crit race with a phone attached to my handlebars, you know? It's a bit too expensive to use like just everyday use as a phone. But if you're commuting and you like looking at your data on the screen and you want to have the data in front of you or you want to have your route in front of you, quad lock, really good. So another really good thing about the quad lock is it also accepts like mounts so you can put your Garmin on, your Wahoo, your Brighton, so you can fit those mounts to it. So you can use it for your phone or for your soft computer if you've got both. I think that's pretty rad. You guys know I love clever things and I'm not just going to put anything on the channel, like it's stuff that I think that you'll find useful. I mean I'll talk complete rubbish about anything, but I'm only going to recommend you guys product that I think is good, you know, and it is good. It's given me a thought though, you know, so now I'm on a cycle path, traffic free, and I've got a quad lock, and I'm going to use it on Zwift. Has anyone ever used Zwift outside? I don't know why I'd want to do that, but can you do that? Maybe we should go out for an outdoor Zwift ride. <laughs> that insane. And if that works, we can like travel to Alpe d'Huez, and we can ride Alpe de Zwift and Alpe d'Huez at the same time. That would be cool, I think. <laughs> I thought that was a good idea. Obviously, I can't do it on the road because, you know, you need to be safe in that. But realistically, it's not like I'm going to stare at the computer the whole time. I just think it's a bit of fun. OK, guys, so my Brighton screen is slightly shinier than my phone. I'll admit it. Tiny bit, tiny bit, guys, you know. <laughs> the review for the Brighton is coming soon. I'm like a bit ahead on vlogs, so I'm just trying to work out when I'm going to do it. But, um, but it will be soon, in the next couple of weeks. I've definitely used it enough now to tell you. Home, skip the coffee, far too cold. Far, far, far too cold at the moment. Um, let me know what you guys think of the quad lock. I mean, genuinely, first time using it, genuinely impressed by how like, easy it is just to put the phone in and take the phone out. So as far as like a phone, and can you use your phone as a soft computer? Yeah, you can. I mean, but only to a limit. But if you want to train and get detailed data, like you need to use a soft computer. But if you're just commuting, like I'd, genuinely 100% recommend a quad lock because it's just really good. I'm definitely going to use it more. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this informative and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.